Today I will walk you through setting up Iris Down Countdown Timer Module for Companion, taking a good look at the feedback options it now offers. First, add an instance of the Timer Module. In the Companion Admin web page, select the Instances tab and add the timer. The timer is found in the Timing category or under the Manufacturer of Iris Down. Label the instance and enter the IP of the computer running the timer. Clicking on Apply Changes completes the configuration. As long as the timer version is 2.0.9 or later, there will now be a list of dynamic variables shown in the configuration page. These can be entered as button text and will update as feedback is received. The feedback variables implemented so far are the state of the timer, whether it's running or not, the display mode the timer is in, e.g. clock or timer, and the time remaining on the timer in various formats. Here's how to add a button that shows the time remaining. Now select the Presets tab found on the right side between the Log and the Import Export tabs. These are pre-made buttons that can speed up your workflow. Select the instance we have just added and drag buttons from the three categories shown to populate the page. Under Timer Control, there are buttons to go, pause, and reset the timer, and a couple of set time buttons to get you started. Under Mode, there are four buttons to change what the timer displays, timer, clock, black, and test pattern. Finally, under Display Time are three feedback buttons that display the current hours, minutes, and seconds of the timer. Drag any of these preset buttons to your page, and then click on them to see how they have been configured. This will give you a good idea of how to make your own buttons. OK, let's see where we've got to. We can select a new timer duration and start the timer, change the display mode and receive feedback, even if the mode gets changed in the normal interface. One of the limitations of the Stream Deck is that you don't have that many buttons to use. Currently, Companion also uses three of the buttons for page navigation. Perhaps there's a better way to lay this out. If I move the set time buttons to a separate page and give the countdown display buttons an action to jump to that page, I now have space for all the time of feedback and display modes. Finally, I can add an action to jump back to the main page for each set time button. And now it's starting to look quite useful. I hope that has given you a good idea of where we are at the moment. And remember, if you like this countdown timer and use it professionally, consider clicking the donate button in the about box.